Hello everybody and thank you for watching this video. I'm Sergio with Mobility Scooters Direct here today to narrate the video. This is the unboxing video of the MV600. That's the Wrangler by Pride Mobility. As you can see it comes in a rather large box with a few smaller boxes that are going to contain different parts of the scooter. In the main box when you open it you'll find the first styrofoam Insert has the user manual and a couple of other items. Make sure to keep those handy. You'll see the mirror, the charger. Go ahead and just put that to the side. Get rid of all the styrofoam inserts. There are going to be quite a few styrofoam inserts. Uh, Pride Mobility takes their time. They really do a good job at packaging their products so that they arrive safely. It did arrive on a pallet, so you are going to need uh, ample space. Probably going to want to do this in a garage or in your driveway. So if you don't have ample space, you may want to opt in for the white glove delivery, which basically means somebody will take it out of the box for you and deliver it already assembled. If you're going to do it yourself, follow along with uh, what you see here. Cut out the front of the box so that you can roll the unit out of the front of the box. So you'll need a knife cutter or uh, a box cutter, and you can just cut out the two front sides, and that's going to open up one of the sides of the uh, box there so that you can actually just pull the scooter up and over the styrofoam. You are going to need to disengage the brakes. In the back there's a lever and you'll go ahead and disengage the uh, brakes so that you can roll it backwards. Once the scooter is out of the box you can go ahead and put the box and styrofoam to the side but we don't recommend throwing it away. Keep the box and all of the packaging for at least five days so that you can return it without any issues if you uh, need to return it. We're taking this out of the box and the first thing we do is lift the tiller handlebar. To do that there is a lever on the left side of the handlebar. You're going to need to press that trigger lever back in order to raise the tiller handlebar up and that will allow you to take out the packaging. Now on the right side you have the normal brakes. On the dash you have your pretty straightforward buttons to operate the different functions, the lights, the turn signals, the horn, the speed, the hazard mode. You have your charging, XLR charging port, your fuses, a USB charging port. What's nice about the Delta Tiller is you can use your left or right hand to operate the scooter. When you're getting ready to set up the scooter for the first time, you will need to install the batteries and to do so, you're going to have to remove the battery compartment cover. You'll do so by removing the four screws that are being displayed here. Once you have those four screws removed, you can pop the battery cover up, just do so carefully, and that'll expose the battery cradles. There's going to be two big 12 volt batteries that go in there. You can see the shocks, uh, the suspension system in there for the rear. Now there's going to be two red connectors and two black connectors. Uh, the red and the black for the right battery pretty much already point to the right side so it's, it's not really possible to connect them backwards, but you will need to take the two batteries out of the box it comes with two 12 volt batteries which are 75 amp hour. You can upgrade to the 100 amp hour and that's going to give you a little bit more battery life but the 75 amp hours give you plenty of battery life. Now in order to get the batteries in you are probably going to need to play around with the ropes a little bit. The battery harness uh, straps need to be wrapped around twice on the front and back and left and right as displayed here. The red and black connectors for the battery terminals respectively connect to the red and black battery tabs with a nut and bolt. You will need to pop the fuse trip the breaker which is in between the two batteries for the first time when you're going to use the scooter like so. Once the fuse is tripped you can go ahead and secure the battery uh, shroud cover back onto the scooter and go ahead and just make sure it's lined up with the screw holes on the bottom the base there by the floorboard and at the top. Grab the four uh, twist screws that are no really tools are required to screw them in. You just use your hands. As being demonstrated here, there are four of them which you'll need to screw on. Make sure that they're on firm but not too tight because you are working with a plastic shroud cover. You don't want to over tighten anything and strip those holes out. We'll go ahead and speed up the process here on the video so you don't have to wait and once all four of the screws are secured 
you'll be good to go. You'll notice there that there is a hole to access the fuse trip, so you can actually uh, hit the circuit breaker switch if you do trip the fuse without having to remove the battery cover at all, which is pretty convenient. The next thing you're going to want to do is to take out the seat from the box. It comes in separate packaging. So this is now going to be the fourth box that we're looking at here that we have to open up. In the box you'll find the brackets for the armrest. They're L-shaped brackets. The armrests themselves come in a box. And of course you have the headrest and the main seat. The seat has a male connector at the bottom and the seat post which holds the seat has a female connector. Simply take the plastic off the bottom of the seat line up the male connector with the female receiving connector on the seat post and drop the seat right in. There's no tools required, there's no switches, you can use the lever on the right hand side to rotate the seat and there's an additional lever on the right hand side which is going to be the recline lever. You use that to fold the seat up or to fold it forward. Once you are ready to install the armrest, you grab the elbows first there's nothing to it. There's some twist release, uh, twist knobs that you loosen to slide the rail in and a pin which allows you to select the width at which you want the armrest to be set at. There's three different holes for the armrest, each an inch apart, so you can really spread out the armrests and keep them nice and wide if you want them wider or bring them in close really tight to the seat if you want a more narrow seat space. When installing the top part of the armrest, make sure you leave a little bit of room. You don't want it all the way down flush against the mount or else it won't be able to flip up and down. We'll go ahead and show you again on the right hand side how to set up the elbow first. Just loosen the knob first and then use the pin to secure it at the desired width set point. You have three options once again. For the top part of the armrest, you just loosen the knob slide the rail inside of the insert and then tighten the knob again. Do not have it all the way down. Give it room to uh, flip up and down. Setting the height of the armrests is very easy. Just loosen the knob, raise it or lower it and then tighten it. Just like how you would adjust the width except that there is also a securement pin for the width adjustment as we discussed. There are a lot of options. The armrests do flip up. They are removable. So you really have a lot of comfort options here, including the recline like we talked about earlier and the ability to rotate the seat and slide it forward and backwards just a few inches. One thing to mention, the securement pins come in the bag that the user manual is in. So when you're opening up the box, just make sure to look through the entire contents of the box, not to misplace or throw anything out. Now we're gonna show you how to install the basket. You will need a razor blade or some sort of sharp knife to get under the cap covers that are on the front of the scooter on the tiller. Try not to scratch the front plastic shrouding, which is really nicely colored there with, if you scratch it, you know, it's, it's not gonna be a good thing. So be very careful when taking them caps off and then simply grab the basket uh, connector pieces that come with the basket, line them up as shown here, and then use the provided screws, put them in finger tight first, and then you can come back with a screwdriver later to tighten them. But you are going to need to kind of hold the two pieces together with one hand and then get the screws in finger tight first. So that's why we recommend lightly twisting the screws in to hold it in place and then coming back afterwards with the screwdriver and finishing the job by firmly tightening those screws. As you can see, it's kind of like a fork system. The basket just clips right into the forks, you push it down, there are no tools required. The Wrangler Mobility Scooter has front LED headlights, full-blown suspension, disc brakes, and a one-of-a-kind feature which is a reverse indicator that can sense objects. As displayed here in the video, you can see that the seat does slide forward and backwards to create more room between the user and the steering wheel. You can rotate the seat clockwise or counterclockwise 360 degrees. The scooter has an amazing suspension system giving you a very, very smooth ride. You barely feel any of the cracks or the bumps on the sidewalks. It has very strong brakes capable of stopping on a dime. And the suspension again is just unmatched. It even has tow hooks on the front to tow things with. 
Going to the digital dash, you have several display options, including time, odometer, speedometer, and even temperature, which is, which is very unusual. It's unique. I haven't seen that in any other scooters. You have your standard turn signals, which are accessible on the left or right side. You have your horn buttons on the left and right side as well, and your speed buttons, the light buttons, all conveniently located right in the middle there. You have hazard lights and the rabbit button that will bring you straight up all the way to the fastest setting or the individual rabbit and turtle mode to increase or decrease the speed. Looks like there's about 12 or so different speed settings that you can kind of increase or decrease speed to the point that you want it at. All in all, this is one of our favorite heavy duty scooters. We highly recommend it. We offer it tax free and shipping is free. Thanks for watching.